everyone, Elite Golden here and welcome back to Operation Desolation. This is the Japanese uh, turn and it is turn 8. So, we'll get straight into it. Um, first things first, we got ourselves some technology. Improved construction, that'd be pretty nice. Long range aircraft, that'd be pretty nice. So, let's see what happens here. Six, one off, unfortunate. Uh, maybe we'll be a little more lucky on this one. Perfect. I'm glad we that I'm glad that we completed one. That is that is pretty nice for the Japanese. So long range aircraft. I do definitely like that. It gives us a few options, of course. Um ugh. so I was hoping that the that I would get struck by exactly what I needed. Um at the moment, but I am not. So, oh well, uh, I shall just take kind of the easier way out. So, here's what we're gonna do. We are going to spend 39 of our $40, but also we are actually going to spend, what is it, what happens if I do that? No, not that. What about this? No, not that either. Um, Basically what I want to do is spend a dollar to upgrade to a motorized. So so I shouldn't have anything left because I'm pretty sure upgrading to a motorized costs one dollar. And so I'm just going to upgrade one of my infantry to a motorized. So tack on a dollar, all 40. And the buy is as follows. Of course, the motorized two medium tanks, two infantry, an airborne, a fighter, three militia, and a militia upgrade. And that'll be all of my money. So, the big question, when's Japan going to do something worthwhile? I've been chastised by the CCP for not attacking, by the KMT for not attacking, and now with all this Soviet aggression, the Allies are, oh, Japan, you should go, uh, go rid the world of communism, but the USSR is saying, oh, no, the Allies are too strong, help me. Well, it's time for Japan to make a choice. And so we had a convention with the Germans. And the Germans and the Japanese, not the Italians, weirdly enough, they, they didn't want to show up to, to our little party. Uh, but the Germans and the, and, the, and the Japanese will jointly be declaring war on the Soviet Union. So, what that means is America will go up $10 uh, because five from the Japanese declaration and five from the German declaration. But then the Soviet Union will be at full wartime income. So, uh, <laughs> as, as my stipulation uh, for, for joining in on this foray from, uh, as a request from the Germans, uh, I'm supposed to knock them down a few pegs, because uh, right now they're making quite a bit. So, uh, now, now Japan really has a lot of enemies, so we're going we're gonna to see how all this works. First things first, we're going to take two transports, go one. Each of them are going to pick up a cavalry. Go to three, up to here. Offload one cavalry into Primorsky Krai to avoid the coastal artillery, and the other one into Amur. Uh, so that's pretty easy. Uh, let's see, we'll grab this. No fighting yet. One cavalry goes one, two. Pretty easy. Again, no fighting. Uh, actually, maybe we might as well just take two, just for a little bit of security. Um, I do have long-range aircraft, but there's really not a huge point in me going too crazy with long-range aircraft this turn. So we're going to take the transport plane and the airborne, go one, two, three, and then the plane comes back uh, pretty easy there. Um, and so then I'll take that one. Let's see, so we're going to have all the rest of these cavalry uh, go headlong into there. Uh, those guys are right there. We're also going to bring the artillery and the motorized into there. And then we'll have a couple of walk-ons again. So let's see, I just gotta make sure I keep all this straight, a lot going on here. Okay, so the 41st is the one down south, so, so don't mess that up. Uh, but the one up here, what we're going to do is we're going to pick up one infantry 
we're going to go to here, try to stop the uh, CCP from bleeding the KMT. Um, I suppose then as well as a cavalry down here just to take that for free. We're going to mix up the airborne, or not the airborne, sorry, the, um, the air division, I guess. We're going to mix them up a little bit. Uh, so these guys are going to go 1-2 into this fight. And these guys are going to go 1-2 into this fight. Uh, but everybody's converging in Singhai, so no worries there. Now we're just going to kind of try to split it evenly, I suppose. Um, so three tactical bombers will do this. These guys to here, these guys to here. Makes it pretty easy. Maybe I'll just do this. That way it's that way it's really easy. Um, very nice. But I think since it's all combat, I do have to split up my forces a little bit more uh, still. And so here's how we will do that. So now Mongolia is going to flip to the USSR. Uh, so we... Uh, we do want to have a strong showing uh, against them, of course. So we're going to pull one. Oh boy. It's tough. It's not, it's not ideal, but perhaps it's something that we just got to do. Actually, no, I'd rather, I'd rather keep this, this like this. So there, perfect, easy. Just nice, easy walk on. Not too bad. Um, and yeah, so well, this guy's actually got to hang out right there for right now because that would be non combat. But yeah, now we're ready to get into some rolling. Hopefully, I can uh, glean a few more dollars off the off the Soviets before before they take their turn. So they will get their fire sale next turn, but they didn't save too terribly many dollars. So uh, Major Foe and I were all right pulling the trigger now as opposed to later so let's do this all right whoops sorry haven't haven't done a fun battle in a while a little rusty with my camera skills um all right so here will be the fighters right for for this fight first uh perfect got a hit that's all i needed and so now we'll uh cavalry in response Ooh, that was pretty close. Uh, but the cavalry does die. Oops. Whoa, that's too many. All right. So there's that. That's pretty easy. Now we'll go up here and uh, let's see. What do I got? Three. Yeah, three tactical bombers. So. Oh, I guess I do have first strike, so maybe I'll just do that real quick. Um, the first strike will be at a three because it was... Uh, actually, no, I don't think it will be. That, that might be a mountain border, it might not. Oh, but either way, it's a desert, so that makes, that makes my job a little easier. So it's at a two. We'll see if the artillery gets a hit. No dice. So now on to the... Uh, perfect. Tactic Bombers did... Uh, did some really good work. Now the militia response, and it's a miss. So that was all the rolling that I had to do. Um, and then these guys fly to here, super easy. Perfect. And then of course, uh, these guys fly on back and join the rest of the uh, Air Force. And I think we're now into, uh, into non-combat. So, first thing we'll do is fly this guy back. So one, two, three, four, we'll put him in Rihi uh, with that seven movement he's got these days, but he actually could have made it back in, in three, I think. One, two, three, yeah. So he's plenty good. Um, Oops, the daisies. These two are going to move up to Sayuyan. And 
let's use some transports. So this transport comes over one, two, three, and brings over these guys. Makes them join that. Uh, I still got one more guy. Might as well use my strategic naval move. Go one, two, three, four. Pick this guy up. I don't know if the KMT are going to take the initiative and, and, and attack me, but yeah, we'll see. Hardly matters. Because they aren't they aren't the enemy anymore. Now, now we're facing down communism. Hmm. Yeah, I'm, let's see. I think it's I think this is pretty good. Pretty good indeed. Oh, of course we got this tactical bomber. So one, two, three, four, five, six. I suppose it can make it, but um I'd actually rather it go here. Into western Manchuria. All right, I think I feel pretty good about this. But of course, now that uh, now the Japanese and the Germans have declared war, that does mean that the Finns get flipped to, uh, to being German. So I'll just adjust that real quick while I've got everybody's attention. Artillery piece. And a militia? Hmm, does Germany even have any militia? Yeah. And of course the German flag gets planted. So, this is definitely an interesting turn of events. I am curious to see how... Oh, well, I suppose now that yeah, actually, this flips too, because uh, when the Germans and the uh, Soviets go to war, I'm pretty sure that the Balkans also just go, uh, go German. So, yeah, I got a few extra bucks there. A few extra bucks for sure. Um, so... I think that's it. I think that's it for my non-combat. Let me just make sure of it. Yeah, pretty good, pretty good. So, we'll place our units now. All right, so this guy is flipped over. Um, so this guy is going to upgrade the guy in Siuyan, and so that just gets deleted. So now he gets placed. Um, we are gonna put uh, the uh, the tank there, and then one, two, three, four, five. One militia will go into Singhai. A militia and militia upgrade will be going into Kuangtung. So, um, yeah, just kind of like leave that and then delete that and then just clone an extra dude. And then the last militia, of course. I was trying to figure out what to do with this guy. So I suppose he'll stand guard in Western Manchuria. Never mind. Sorry, he's going to go in Shensi. I don't know. It is what it is. It's not too terribly big of a deal. Um, so yeah, pretty easy turn. I think I've done everything properly and not anything too foolish, but I'm sure if I have, Major Foe will be kind about it. Uh, all right. Yeah, now I'm just rambling. So let us, let us finish the turn. I am making... Forty-one dollars plus my plus my six for having all of China. So I'll have forty-seven dollars. 
$47 for next turn. All right. <laughs> well. All right, so tune on in to Silk's channel for uh, for the next the next installment of this game. Uh, of course, that's the Commonwealth and Free French Turn. Hey, Silk, since uh, since we're kind of on the same side right now, I wouldn't <laughs> wouldn't be opposed to a little bit of Lendlease as uh, as assistance uh, against the Russians here. Um, <laughs> we'll see we'll see what happens with that. Uh, well, thanks so much for watching, everybody. I really appreciate it. I'll catch you in turn nine for Japan. We'll see what the Soviets do. Later.